FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 288. Nasdaq's up 18. S&P's uh, down 13. Gold. Gold contract down $5. Trading at 1782 an ounce. We have silver uh, down 35 cents, $20 flat out. Light sweet crude up 71 cents, $94. 60 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Now, this is going to really get an interesting, man. Notes and bonds are up, and then they got slammed. You got the 10 year down a full point, plus seven ticks at 120.04. The 30 year up, uh, down a full point, plus 24 ticks at 142.31. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is up 788. It's on the run again. You get, you're at 106. 241. The euro is at 101. The yen is at 132. And the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. What you have out here, folks, you get a market oscillating. It doesn't have the strength to go higher. Bottom line, expect you to get some kind of a pullback here. Take a look at the spy. The bottom line is that, you know, Friday, we had volume of 87 million. Yesterday was 69. And today is going to probably be around 69 too. And it can't hold price. So I suspect you're going to. If we, see if you if you're building cause in order to break the first June first level right now, <clears throat> what you'd see, folks, is you'd be pushing with volume, not with lighter volume. So that's telling me it's going to back down a bit. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Bottom line, you got the uh, Qs. The Qs right now are doing 39 million. Friday we did uh, 57. Yesterday you did 46. It's going to be better than yesterday, but you're not holding price. That's the bottom line. The high of yesterday was. Uh, 318.81, you got the 318.54 today. So it's showing that it just doesn't have it to get up and over um, the highs. We go to the dollar. Let's take a look at the dollar. So the correlation, no doubt today, dollar up, market's having a tough time holding price. And let's just go look at this because what we don't want to happen is 106.792. Okay, it's not there yet. The 106.792 is the, the, you know, that's the ben benchmark, man. But, you know, the way this, this rejected flat out the 105.49 today, and the beginning of that move was 105.05. So, you know, you make the case that it came back to the breakout area, rejected lower price, and, you know, now wants higher price once again. So um, that's going to be a problem for the market because the bottom line is that, you know, that dollar goes higher, the market wants to go lower. That being said, you know, we're, we're teetering. Uh, and I, I don't expect, you know, something like disastrous, but I expect that we are going to see a pullback. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.